more than 750 million container movements are recorded globally in the supply chain every year. Only a few of these containers transport illicit and dangerous goods. But the trade of these goods finances global criminal groups and terrorist organizations with a very negative impact on people's lives all over the world. The CCP um, was uh, established by UNODC in collaboration with the World Customs Organization to help countries implement their obligations under the UN Convention Against Transnational Organized Crime. The Container Control Program assists member states seeking to improve risk management, supply chain security and trade facilitation by establishing control units, strengthening capacities, sharing intelligence and promoting interconnectedness. With a presence in over 70 countries, the CCP supports more than 120 port control units and air cargo control units, bringing together customs and other relevant law enforcement agencies. Training is essential in the fight against organized crime. The training serves to sensitize our officers in the ports and at the airports uh, to distinguish what is a legitimate uh, shipment and what may be a shipment which contains uh, illicit goods through proper risk profiling. So this is why we talk about nuclear weapons usually. It's staged into basic training in theory and practical training and complemented by advanced training on various items. Strengthened capacities ensure that personnel of these control units can identify and inspect high-risk cargo shipments with a minimum disruption to legitimate trade. So the biggest challenge would be the balancing between control and uh, trade facilitation. So that means we should have sufficient skills and knowledge and we should update regularly the new concealment techniques of the criminals so that we can balance better between the control and facilitation. Interconnectedness helps the control units improve cooperation among national, regional and international law enforcement entities. Sharing intelligence, such as risk assessments or container regulations, is essential for effective collaboration. The great thing about having a team such as this is the importance of bringing different law enforcement agencies to come together to work as a team with a common focus, with a common aim of disrupting the activities of criminal groups. Effective border control requires a cross-cutting working methodology. A key asset of the Container Control Program is its information and intelligence exchange electronic platform, the Container Com. It links all units and countries associated with the program. One of the big advantages of the Container Com system is that officers not only share information about seizures and uh, suspect ships or suspect containers, or air cargo shipments, but also they can inform their colleagues in other ports about containers they were not able to control. And that led, in fact, to a number of seizures. A strategic objective in CCP's interconnectedness is working with the private sector to confront the challenge posed by free ports where there is no control by customs or other law enforcement agencies. The only way we can improve this situation is to work closer with the private sector. The shipping lines, they have access to all the commercial information and if our uh, targeters and trainers and the officials from our participating countries could have access to such information in the pre-arrival phase, I am sure we would see a lot of results Strengthening capacities and interconnectedness are bearing fruit. The number of countries joining the Container Control Program has increasingly grown over the last decade, given the program's success. 
the container seizures in our uh, participating countries, they have gone up in a drastic uh, way. And of course, this is partly because our recipient countries understand the concept, the cross-cutting activities and, and our training, and we can actually see that our training gives a lot of good results. To ensure its effectiveness against future threats, for the years 2020 to 2025, the CCP will aim for a consolidated and sustainable growth of the programme. I think we need to consolidate what we are already doing. Having some kind of structure with a national targeting centre as the main entry point for targeting profiling of containers, I think that would make a lot of sense for uh, all the countries participating in the programme. The Container Control Programme will continue delivering specialised training, deploying new technologies and methodologies, and strengthening initiatives such as the CCP Air Cargo Programme. We started with the air cargo activities in airports, of course. We also have land borders and we have railway border crossing points. The air cargo element is focusing more on security. So the concept of pre-arrival information and sharing information uh, while the plane is in the air is very important. This is also uh, relevant for the UN agency, the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. Since 2015, the CCP Women's Network aims to actively promote women's roles in the program and foster an inclusive dialogue around female participation, leadership, empowerment and freedom from discrimination in a sector often dominated by men. Being a female and being the head of the JPC, it encourages most females to come on board and know that once we support each other in law enforcement, we can disguise the limit. With strengthened capacities, intelligence and interconnectedness, the Container Control Program is helping make the world safer from drugs, organized crime, corruption and terrorism. We look forward to jointly continuing the path to ensure sustainable development with our law enforcement partners, donors, civil society and private sector.